welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Natalie Byrne. I'm an illustrator, podcaster and author and today I'm going to talk about how to stay sane when working from home. Um, right before we get into it, I want to thank my beautiful Patreons for allowing me to make this kind of content. If you want to be a Patreon, the link is in the description. Every week I do a podcast that's exclusive to Patreon and um, the next one is going to be on self-esteem. I talk about lots of things from like confidence to online shop advice. Um, so if you want to be a Patreon, uh, links in the description. Thank you so much. Also, I am doing work with me. So there'll be more information about that in the description too. But I am going to talk about it in this video because they have been helping me keep sane right now. So I think that's all of the housekeeping. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content. I love making videos about creativity and creative education and some studio vlogs. Um, I feel like I haven't done a chatty video in a, in a hot minute, but I asked on my Instagram what you wanted to see next and this was the winner. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I'm Natalie Byrne, B-Y-R-N-E. Uh, let's get into it. So, working from home. I am a pro at this. I was working from home from 2018, maybe before then. Working from home. The first things first is getting ready. I feel like everyone talks about how the importance of this and if you've been working from home for a while, you know the importance of this. Um, I remember when I used to tell people that I worked from home pre-corona, pre-pandemic, uh, <laughs> people would say, oh my god, that's so much fun, you could just like sit and work in bed in your pyjamas all day, and you do that for a little bit, and you feel disgusting, or well, I do anyway. Sometimes, yes, the joys of working from home is that if you have really bad pre period cramps, if you didn't sleep well the night before, um, yes, you can do some emails in bed, like that is a lovely positive that that option is there. But for majority of the time, getting ready, um, getting out of those PJs, sometimes I wear a dress, sometimes I'll just wear some comfies, um, but definitely showering, getting ready for the day. Sometimes I'll put on a little bit of makeup, like I did today. Um, other times, most of the time, as you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I just have my hair up in the bun. Um, that's like when all hands are on deck, you know, I'm like deep in my work is when I've got my hair in a bun. Um, yes, of course, there's days where I don't shower. <laughs> um, but trying to aim for every single day to get ready just really kind of sets me up for focus. Makes me feel good. Like a little bit of makeup always just makes me feel really like put together. Uh, but that being said, I love my no makeup days working from home as well and I love wearing my comfies and those are just as productive as the other days. But the main thing for me is planning an outfit the night before and getting making sure that I get into it. Um, obviously, like I said, the option is there. If I have very bad period cramps, I'll do my emails in bed. But for the majority of the part, I cannot stress enough the importance of this. So adding on to this, I also personally like to wear shoes in the house but I bought these from Depop these have never been worn outside the house these are my inside work from home shoes just something about putting shoes on makes me feel like I'm going to work I know not everyone is going to like this like depending on what you what your rules are in your house what kind of floor you have like I get it uh, but having designated shoes that I won't wear outside um, specifically for working has really helps me I used to find it really hard to not work in a hat because when I studied up north I was always in a hat um, like a beanie and <laughs> so that was like a bit of like it's like a uniform something about wearing slippers I just can't get into work mode um, so I think these little things like getting ready and having a shower and putting my shoes on and occasionally putting on some makeup really help me. It's like sending 
um, messages to my brain, like it's time to work now. Like these are little, they're little habits that um, they're almost like rituals that get my brain thinking um, it's work time. <laughs> so uh, another thing I like to do throughout the day is I have different spots in the house where I do different tasks. Um, I'll always be drawing at my desk um, with a big monitor. Um, this dresser, I like to do my packing up here, so it means I'm standing up. Also, uh, sometimes, occasionally, especially as it gets dark in the winter, I put books up on here and I put my laptop on there and I'll sometimes work there. I think moving around the house, especially having periods of time standing up, um, standing up desks are wonderful. Uh, if you've got room, if you've got space, get one. Um, but I've kind of just DIY'd it. I also sometimes will sit at the in the kitchen and do certain tasks. I don't like doing emails, so sometimes I'll do those on the sofa in bed, but just making sure that I'm not just in one position for longer than like for, for the whole day. I mean, obviously sometimes I'm sat on my desk all day drawing and I'm just like this. And it's just not good for me. <laughs> so that's one thing I would say is try and do, try and move around the house a bit. Um, it's really great that people are getting into working out, but I think that we forget that our bodies aren't meant to like stay in, in one position for like the whole day. Um, it's I've got terrible back pain from um, doing that. And I think it just shapes shakes up the day a little bit. Um, so I'll say like, okay, I'm gonna do an hour of emails in the kitchen and then I'm gonna do some packing here, which is me standing up. And then I'm gonna do a few hours at my desk. So it just feels like um, not, I don't know whether it's like a bit of livening up the day a bit and moving my body a bit, even if it just means I'm standing up. Um, and there's just something about, because I work in my bedroom, there's just something about working in my bedroom in the same four walls every day that <laughs> just can make me feel like I'm going insane. <laughs> so doing that has really, really helped me moving around the house. So the next one is breaks. The few rules that I have when it comes to breaks throughout the day is... I will, because I have loads of stuff going on, I try and allocate two hours for each task at a time. So say if I need to do some drawing, I'll do, okay, I'll, instead of doing the whole day drawing, I'll try and break up the task so that I'm spending a little bit on that task every day. Obviously that takes some planning as well. So if you want to know how I plan um, and organize my schedule please let me know I'm obsessed with watching those kinds of videos on YouTube um so yeah I think for me and the way that I work I don't like being in the same position for the whole day especially if I'm drawing I'm tend to like get kind of bad posture and like my hand I just can't like hold a pen for like days and days and days it's really important for me to break up the day and it just helps with my brain helps with my energy helps me stay sane so I'll do like two hours of emails on a I'll I will try and not do something for more than two hours it helps me hit my tasks because I'm not just like oh I have this just I have like seven hours of drawing to do it's um it just helps me get through my task because I'm like okay two hours to do this and it's going to be done by this time. Um, another thing is the Pomodoro method. So I like using the Forest app for this, but you can use whatever app you want for this or just an actual timer. I've talked about the Pom Pomodoro method so many times. Saved my life. Like <laughs> It's been fundamental to how I get stuff done. Um, it basically means you work for 20 minutes um, at a time, you do that four times and then you have a long break. So you work for 20 minutes, have a short break, it could be two minutes or five minutes, do that four times and then take a long break. Um, if you have problems with focus, like I think I talked about that in my focus video, which I'll put 
on the cards. I don't know what side it's going to be on. I'll do a card. I haven't done a card before. Um, so breaks, 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 breaks. And also I like to tie that in with me moving about the house. Um, so I'll do like emails at my kitchen for two hours. It's got to get done by then <laughs> because I've got to move on to my next task. Another thing I like to try and do is pay attention to when my energy and focus is at its highest point. So for me, I'm most productive and energized and focused and creative in the mornings. I, and then my afternoon slump is around two or three o'clock. So I like to make sure I'm having a walk by then. So I might have a shorter lunch break, but I'll have a proper hour break from two to three. So sometimes if it's my post office day, I will put my post office trip for this time. Um, other times I'll just literally walk around <laughs> the closest park to me and just come straight back. I usually like to also, and this is tied into the next thing with, with how things are right now. I usually also like to during that time check in on my friends. I do think it's been so helpful for me to schedule friend calls. I send a lot of voice notes. If you know, if you're my friend, you know, I like to send a long voice note. Um, they have been really helpful because it means that when I do have a break, I can get back to my mate. And um, I think making sure that I'm talking to people, honestly, if you're my friend, you know, how I've been going through it and I'm sure lots of people watching this has have been going through it too. Call your friends. Schedule um, calls with your friends who you also know are working from home. I know so many people who are working from home now and um, I know it's like our new normal so maybe not as many people are like calling people as they used to but call your friends. If you're feeling like you're struggling or just having a bad day or even on a good day reach out to your friends like I cannot stress this enough, like, we're all going through this t thing together, call your friends, call your friends, and if you're worried about disrupting them in their day, just send them a voice note, because that, me that means they can get back to you whenever they're free, whenever's good for them, um, and also, yeah, scheduling phone calls, I've been doing this loads, um, and it's been so nice honestly and so I'll try and put my walk to when I'm having a phone call so um, either my trip to the post office um, and I'll just check in and have a little chat with people and um, see how they're doing and see how they're dealing with working from home or if they're a key worker I think it's so important to check in with your friends now that we're spending less time being sociable um, honestly like every time I have a bad day and I speak to a friend I'm like why do I always forget how great having a call with your friend is <laughs> so that's been huge that's probably like the biggest thing that I've learned in the last few months so yeah call your friends call your friends <laughs> um another thing is I mean I've been really bad at this lately trying not to rely on coffee um and trying to go for more like herb teas now it's getting colder but I do try and drink a lot of water um, if I'm feeling really, really, really tired, I will try and drink a whole glass of water before I go straight to the coffee. Because often I can just crash and burn really early and obviously that's going to affect how much I get done in the day. Um, I love coffee. I do love it. But I'm very sensitive to it. So it means that um, I'll have this like peak of high energy where I'll like shake and stuff and then I'll just drop. And um, it's just frustrating because I know that when I've just had like water or even gone for decaf this is what I I definitely noticed I'm getting um an addiction to coffee during lockdown because I've been depending on it so much so what I usually do in my afternoon slump when I when I'm like I'm so tired is I will make a decaf coffee and I'll also try and drink as much water as possible um I feel like <laughs> my water bottle has gotten so many mentions on these videos um but having a really big one just by my desk means that I can kind of keep track of how much water I'm drinking. Another thing I like to do is try and make sure the windows are open, especially in the mornings. Um, like I said, 
I work in my bedroom, so I think it's just really important to get like some air circulating through here. Um, and I definitely always keep them open for a few hours in the morning and just like wrap up warm because I just think it's important to like get some air moving and get the fresh air. In the morning, I will make sure to have my windows open. For tasks I don't like doing, like emails, any accounting stuff, emails, <laughs> invoices, like all the boring stuff that I did not sign up for as a creative person but a part of my business. I have um, an email candle. I have this candle that is, my favourite scents are like fresh, light scents that smell like you've like laundry um, or rain. Um, I love those kinds of scents. So I have this like linen scented candle that when I'm doing my emails <laughs> I put on and for tasks that make me feel that are really overwhelming and I don't like doing them and they don't bring me any kind of joy whatsoever. <laughs> um, I'll put on my email candle, which is specifically only allowed to be burnt during the times I'm doing my emails. And it just brings that sense of like joy um, into that task that is boring. <laughs> and um, I have told so many people about this. Um, being Emails are the bane of my life, honestly. <laughs> um, so if anyone else knows how to get yourself through tasks that are boring, um, let me know because I feel like I'm just constantly complaining <laughs> about my emails. Um, thank you so much for everyone who emailed me or messaged me or anything. Um, it's wonderful, but as soon as I have enough money to pay for someone to do it for me, I will. <laughs> I mean, I could talk about the other things I always talk about, which is like, then there's, you know, exercise, reg regularly exercising, eating healthy foods. Um, but I think the one that I want to end it on is um, making sure, especially with how things are now, making sure that you're doing at least one thing in your day that you love doing, whether that's cooking yourself a really nice meal um or watching your favorite tv show for me i have to do either one of those things <laughs> um every day so i like to try and make sure that i'm doing things that calm me that elevate my mood um so that when i am working on tasks and things do feel really overwhelming and stressed out stressful um I have something to look forward to in the day. So I've really enjoyed watching movies. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm doing a little very relaxed film club um, where I just kind of share what I'm watching and ask for recommendations. And I'm usually watching what you're recommending me. So thank you for that. Um, and I just want to get through like all the classic films that like I've never really dedicated to time to watch so having something on in the day planned scheduled so that when I do turn my computer off um, I'm doing something I love and I know that kind of resets me I think that's so important when you work from home because you can feel like the lines are blurred so I feel like I've just rambled on and on <laughs> but if you have any advice and any tips on how you work from home without losing your mind please put them in the comments. I think the main thing for me is making sure that I'm going on my walks and I, and I run in the morning and those feelings of like okay I'm going a distance I try and go quite far away on my runs because I really like the idea of um, like, it, even though I've slept in the same place I'm working in, it makes me feel like I'm leaving and coming back, and it kind of gives me that, 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 um, cut-off point between sleep and work. 
um, and doing kind of tasks, especially having like a good evening routine, having, you know, a scheduled time for your work. Working from home is wonderful, but the really hard thing to do is to create those boundaries that you have when you are going to an office, when you are going into work um, and and doing your commute. That is your, it's like messages to your brain that's like, we are going to work now. Um, and for me, I've just found by doing little tasks in different ways of trying to tell my brain and my body that like, we're going to work now um is have been really essential because my bed is not that far away from my desk like if I want to get back into bed like I can get back into bed um but it's been really hard and a journey to try and basically be really strict with myself that's the way that I've had to do it be really strict with myself um give myself an hourly day like an actual day because this is the thing everyone thinks that like artists and freelancers yes if you work best in the evenings you work however way works for you if you are an afternoon person great I at like two o'clock I'm like a grandma I'm like oh I, ca I literally can't I can't work like my energy just drops and depletes so I have to take myself on a walk um to get that fresh air and and I just my best time is in the morning um, but you work whatever way feels best for you and I hope this video is a little bit helpful. I think um, it's a journey to figure out what works for you, it's a journey to figure out when you're most focused so that you can create a day that suits you and, and works to, to you best. Um, and just call your friends guys, like <laughs> call your friends, call, call your friends, call your friends um, because <sighs> Everyone's going through it right now and I'm sure even if you're not having a bad day, one of your friends is, is probably having a tough time and we all just need to be there for each other and I think the best uh, way to get through this time is to be um, calling each other up, communicating, being there for one another. We're all going through this at the same time, so <laughs> make sure... Um, you check in on on the ones that you care about and the ones you love um and quite often that can be enough to snap you out of uh, a bad mood or a low moment um is giving love to someone that you care about so i think that's it let me know uh what you thought of this video let me know if there's anything i missed let me know if you're a morning person or an afternoon person or an evening person or a night owl whatever you are it's all welcome here if you're interested in getting a week the podcast that is um gonna help you stay motivated stay focused you can sign up to my patreon if you're struggling to wake up at nine in the morning and get to your desk i am doing work with me's i have been so helpful to try i'm gonna put them i'll put the photos here <laughs> they have been really helpful to because i'm doing them and if I'm not at my desk at nine o'clock on Zoom, <laughs> um, like people are waiting on me. They've been helpful for, for me. I've been getting so much stuff done because I just like the idea of seeing your lovely faces and so that you know that I can't just be on my phone. <laughs> so if you're struggling to work, I've been doing work with me's. Basically just join. You can come in and out. You can be late, like whatever works for you. We do it from nine to 10, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays mornings from 9 to 10 uh, UK time so I think that's it um let me know if you thought this video was helpful um I love you so much and take care be as safe as you possibly can and call your friends okay bye